Yo, what is up, my Nakama? My name is Daniel, and I'm a current second year medical student. So over Thanksgiving break, I went back home and had pretty minimal equipment to work with to get my training sessions in. But the awesome thing about calisthenics is that you really need very little to begin with. This basement is where my calisthenics journey began, so it's always a bit sentimental coming back here to train. Okay, so let's get started with this full body workout I got for you all. I always start off my workouts with skill training, such as handstand practice, because if you do this at the end of your workouts, you'll be too tired to perform this movement that requires your full concentration and balance, which is why I like to train it when I'm fresh. Afterwards, I move into my reps and sets, and generally, I structure my workouts with more difficult exercises first, followed by easier reps and sets after. So here, we are starting off with wall to handstand push-ups, and I'll generally do about three by three sets, so I'll do three reps for three sets total. Next, we get into the bulk of our workout, which is basically one long superset of pull-ups and push-ups. In my opinion, training like this as a beginner is optimal because it puts enough stress on your body to adapt to this type of training load so that once you master these basic movements, you can progress to more difficult exercises. The first superset is eight regular pull-ups, followed by 10 regular push-ups. Remember that form is key in calisthenics, both for muscle growth and injury prevention. Never sacrifice quality over quantity. Our second superset will be eight close grip chin-ups followed by 10 parallel push-ups. The key to progression and muscle hypertrophy with calisthenics is with variation and explosiveness. So here, by varying the types of pull-ups and push-ups we're doing, we're targeting different muscle groups with these compound exercises and getting more of that full body workout. The third superset will be a military grip style of pull-ups for eight reps. Keep a steady rate and try to come down fully between each rep if possible. Afterwards, we have 10 elevated push-ups. This is a great way to modify the push-up exercise to make it more challenging by using a greater percentage of your body weight for the same exercise. The fourth superset will start off with a mixed grip pull-up for eight reps. This is a great way to implement variation into your routine instead of doing basic pull-ups over and over again. It's all about building that mind-body connection. Calisthenics has unlimited creativity when structuring a workout and performing exercises. Now follow up the mixed grip pull-ups with pike push-ups. This is a great easier progression towards the handstand push-up, which allows you to build the necessary shoulder strength and push strength to be able to do a handstand push-up. For the fifth and final superset, we are simply inverting the grip we used for pull-ups from our previous set, and once again do eight reps. At this point, my muscles are starting to become fatigued, but even so, I try and execute each rep with clean form if possible. The set of 10 push-ups will be 10 explosive push-ups. This is a great way to implement explosive training into your routine and increase the overall intensity of your workout. A fun challenge is to see how high you can go. Now just for fun, I add in some archer push-ups, which is a fantastic unilateral exercise to really make push-ups challenging. And this is also a great progression to be able to do the one-arm push-up. At this point in the workout, I take a quick dance break. <laughs> right, now back to the workout. So for legs, I have two exercises and we're gonna superset for 10 reps each. First are explosive squats. And the second exercise are single leg Bulgarian squats for five reps for each leg. Now I admit that leg training for calisthenics is one of the few disadvantages, so feel free to add weight to these exercises if they're too easy for you. The last and final supersets for this home workout routine are of course abs. Gotta end with them. The first exercise is simple but super effective and it's called a hanging L-sit hold. This is a killer isometric exercise that every calisthenics athlete should be comfortable with and master. Last up is one of my favorite calisthenics exercises, made popular by the late and great Bruce Lee. It's a fairly difficult move and it's called the dragonfly. There are easier variations where both legs are tucked in or only one leg is extended out fully. If you can do three sets of three of these, then that would be perfect. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you follow along and what you think. 
Stay strong, stay healthy, and as always, Databayo.